Egyptian atheist YouTuber arrested after debating Imam. Last November, an Egyptian atheist blogger, Hesham uh, Fouad Ahmed, aka Hesham El Masri, was arrested by authorities and allegedly charged with insult insulting Islam. On October 30th, Hashem joined a debate hosted by uh, Basim Sam against an imam, Ahmed Karima. The discussion was broadcasted live on YouTube. Both parties gave each other a chance to talk at the start of the discussion. Unfortunately, the debate quickly turned heated, with Sheikh Karima yelling at Hashem to stop. A week after the discussion, Karima appeared in a video accusing Ahmed of dis dis excuse me, disrespecting Islam. According to the Secular Underground Network, Karima used his, quote, connections to press national security to apprehend Hashem. Karima has also urged the public prosecutors in Egypt to arrest Hashem and charge him with disrespecting Islam and to block his channel in Egypt. According to Sarah, Lee, uh, Sarah Leah Whitson, the Middle East and North Africa director of the Human Rights Watch, quote, atheists are one of Egypt's least protected minorities, although the, although the Constitution ostensibly guarantees freedom of belief and expression. So um, what was what was the charges? He was doing a debate. On what charges was he arrested? So... According, so I actually received an email about this from someone giving me a bunch of details. And then the, a blogger wrote about it on the Secular Underground Network. And it's, I mean, I, I can't speak Arabic, so I don't know, you know, presumably what he, Hashem would have said that would have disrespected it in general. But it's like just this idea that he was supposed to have this discussion with the sheikh, like with the imam about religion and that it became heated and eventually they had to cut the whole thing short and then according to what has been relayed to me this sheikh then used his connections in the state security apparatuses to then go after hashem wow. for being an atheist and talking about it publicly sounds like a sore loser i think he was just offended that he can't defeat him in a, in a debate yeah a secular Proton in the live chat is saying, okay, so I can't defeat you in a debate, but I'm going to ruin your life. Also, Soha is saying it's Hisham, not Hashem. Oh, so my God. Saying, Excuse yeah. me. Uh, that was my dyslexia. <laughs> your fragility issue. This is such a, so stupid. Um, and you said how, how long? Okay. Yeah, you also mentioned in the article that there was a similar case with Muhammad Hash, um, Hashem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's, is he, did you, uh, sorry, I was look, looking at the video debate, but did you mention that he's still in jail right now as we speak? I have not heard any updates about what has happened to him since. The person who okay. managed his YouTube channel suddenly reported that he hasn't heard from him, that he can't get in touch with him. And then, according to the information that has been relayed to me, it was discovered or found out that he's been arrested and I haven't heard any updates since. And, um, there have been other, um, people who were accused of insulting Islam. Um, and they were granted bail after some time. Um, but in general, if you're an Egyptian atheist and you find yourself on the, on the wrong side of the law, you are in a really bad situation. Like with what happened to um, ex-Muslim atheist YouTuber Sharif Gabar, like he is basically trapped within the country with people trying to kill him constantly because of his outspokenness and people went after him legally. Um, All right, let's let's watch let's watch some of this clip because this is the part where at the very end because I went to the very end of the debate. This look at this is where it gets very heated. Look at the wagging fingers. Should I actually let's play some audio? See how heated it got. Hold on. Let me just go a little bit back. Oh my God. 
Okay, this is the part where they, one of them gets up and leaves. Hold on. No, 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 Oh, he left. Okay. Yeah, Maulana. Man, this must this must be make, making a lot of noises in the atheist Arabic uh, social media right now. This must be like a major bombshell. I, I can I can expect. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure we. Yeah, it's it's on. honestly like really scary to be an atheist in Egypt. Egypt. All right, your idea is coming to us with like mm, uh, a few no, no, there's something really hours important. of delay. Okay, say, mention it, say it again because there was a delay. Oh, there we go. Um, basically, so I just put a link to it in the live chat, but the people who reached out to me about the story said, please help Hisham by signing and sharing this petition. So I put a link to it in the live chat and also using the hashtag, well, his name in Arabic or, um, hashtag free Hasham now. And so please go sign this petition. Um, if you want to look it up, it's called free Hashem al Masri. Atheism is not a crime. And I think it's really important to be in touch with persecuted atheists around the world and show our support in any way we can um and so yeah please go sign the petition share this story talk to people about what happens to atheists in other countries okay so uh soha is confirming in the live chat that the part that they went uh, the muslim guy went crazy was the part where the atheist guy asked him about a verse in the quran uh, mentioning that it's a terrorist verse and that uh sheikh guy was it a sheikh guy he went crazy that's when he went crazy okay um hisham has been released on okay so soha is confirming that hisham has been released on the basis that he would never go live and would not criticize islam in exchange for his freedom Wow. Okay, so they let him go free in exchange of never criticizing Islam again. Um, okay. We get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.